What's up everyone, Tobias here with Tobias's Watches. I know, very generic name and everything, but uh, yeah, I didn't think of a better name, so that's the way we go. And this today is the Longines Hydro Conquest. We're going to be unboxing it and uh, bringing you guys a, a quick run through of all the specs, the uh, features, the design, all of that. And then in the next video, we're going to bring you guys a uh, five loves and loathes or five pros and cons or five the hates and loves of the Hydro Conquest by Longines. So yeah, let's just get into the box and get this thing done. So it's got a pretty nice beige outer box and when you get into it, you got yourself a blue or navy blue leather box and you've got two kind of, you know, sections. You've got the the one that houses the main the main box, and then you got one that houses uh, the unnecessarily huge manual, which is this one. So let's put the outer box to the side. And this is what you are left with. So this right here is, as I said, the Longines, uh, the world service and the instructions for use. If you're wondering where your warranty card is, it's right at the back. So open up the last page and there is your Longines International Warranty Card. Pull that out and you got all of your, your uh, information here. So there you go, that's very simple and handy dandy. It's all very nice and quality feeling. Here is the box itself. And uh, let's open it. So there you go, the, here is the Hydro Conquest. Um, the Hydro Conquest is a pretty decently sized collection of watches. It ranges everywhere from uh, big watches to smaller 39mm watches, uh, to quartz ones, to automatic ones, to blue ones, to black ones, to red ones. It's a big collection. But the one we have here is the higher end black one. So this is the one with the automatic, the mechanical automatic movement. Uh, it's a modified ETA. We will get into which one it is specifically later. But it's the mechanical and it's the 41 millimeter model in black. It's got a sunburst black dial. But yeah, let's put this to the side. I have already unboxed it, so this tag was not hanging on the watch. But this is the tag that you will have on the watch. Like this, it just says the recommended selling price and that's everything. And down below here I have a piece of my bracelet that I took off and then we got ourselves a paper of uh, the model number and the serial number and all that stuff. So the box is here, a wooden piece or trim here, probably not wood at all, it's probably just plastic. This is, this is also probably not real leather but it feels and looks like it so there you go. Now let's zoom in the camera and take a closer look at the Longines. Hydro Conquest. So now let's go through the specifications. It's made out of stainless steel, the glass is of sapphire and has several layers of AR coating on the underside of the glass. The case back is solid, water resistance is as previously mentioned at 30 bar which is 30 meters which also should be plenty for most people. The bezel is rotatable anti-clockwise. This color is called sunray black and it's got this sunburst look to it which I like a lot. The hands are silvered polished hands. It's got this, uh, I don't know what to call the end of the hour hand, but yeah, it's got applied loom there and also on the minute hand. It looks very nice actually. The movement is automatic, which means it winds the spring by just you moving, although you can also wind it with the screw down crown if you want to. It's beating at 25,200 vibrations per hour with a long lasting power reserve of 64 hours. The bracelet is also made of stainless steel and its buckle has a double security folding clasp and an integrated diving extension. And to make all of those specifications shorter, the watch has got its own reference number, which in this case is L3.742.4.56.6. And the retail price of this is 1000 US dollars, although you will be able to find it at authorized dealers for a couple hundred dollars off the retail price. So let me know what you guys think about the Longines Hydro Conquest in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next Tobias's Watches video. Peace.